you could ask me a question. How do I know where I supposed to set the points on the curve? And that would be absolutely right question. I know many beginners has um, troubles with finding the right points on the curve. Maybe there is something that who could help you with that. So let's have a look on the left hand side in this hour box and we have few eyedroppers they're quite useless and yes i know this is cruel but i'm going to show you a quick example how useless is that we have dark eyedropper gray and white one and basically when you're going to choose that you buy a black eyedropper you're going to set the dark the, the point you're going to choose become black so the best way would be to find darkest point and you're making this black. For now, it looks still all right. Uh, so it's automatically set your um, colors. As you can see, your red, green and blue adjust in this color to become black. If I would choose white um, eyedropper and go somewhere here, as you can see, it's setting it on its own as well and make this point totally white. And this doesn't really work so good, I believe, for our images. So I would go just back. Oh. I'm going to restart this. So how to set the right points? You see, above that, we have this little hand. So I'm going to choose that. And look what is happening on the curve over here. I'm moving with this eyedropper over the image and we have this little point moving on the image. When I'm moving in the areas that are quite bright, our point is moving somewhere here. If I would go into dark areas, as you can see, my point, the spot on the curves is rather over here in the shadows. So the easiest way for beginners would be you choose the dark spot first and setting up the shadows for it, the darkness, the, the contrast, of course. So I'm, I'm grabbing this here and moving down to darken or moving up to brighten. And the great thing is with um, doing that way that our hand not changing position on the curve line. So I would darker here a little bit. And uh, what I would do next, I would find a bright point like this one over here, grab it and go up. And this can give you relatively really good results. If you are a beginner, if you see in a certain area that you want to improve, this works just perfect. Of course, you can do this quite uh, manually. If something happened, I'm just going to restart this. And of course, you can also by using this dropper, set your points manually uh, somewhere and then just work out with them as you like. So, this, and but in this case, you will be moving on your curve maybe sometimes, but it can give you really great results. So let's move to another example, not so drastic maybe. And I will do the same thing over here. I uh, somewhere here is the dark spot so I would make this slightly darker maybe I'm just going to grab this and move down a little bit and here I see a nice spot to pull it up and let's have a look we we got really nice contrast before after and this works just well so if you are a beginner if you don't feel confident of setting your own point points on the curve, that will be a really good way to start with it. And I'm not saying really it's just uh, for beginners, but for everyone who feel comfortable with it, who see a special point that you want to darken or brighten, this is just a really good way to keep full control on your shadows and highlights.